Hey, what's up guys? So I'm out here in the garage working on another project. I am designing up, or I did design up, a throttle cable bracket for the intake manifold. So you can see I went through a few different revisions, uh, just basically getting the dimensions right and also trying to make it look better. But this is essentially the final design. I'm going to try and CNC machine out Actually already test fit it uh, on the manifold uh, with a throttle cable hooked up this is just going to use the stock s10 throttle cable so I just have it worked out so these little clips click click right into it to be able to do this I picked up a couple new end mill tools a uh, quarter inch flat single flute and a ball end mill and I did some test cuts. I actually designed up this little this dome kind of thing to try and uh, work out if if this mill would actually do like some decent surface finishes. Because I was kind of worried, so I just threw some uh, cam programming at it. And it came out pretty good. So now that the design is done, I got some machine settings where I think I want them. Uh, the next thing was work holding because I need to be able to hold this thing from basically three different uh, three different sides to be able to machine it. So I'm going to machine the front, which will just basically just uh, hold the block of aluminum that I picked up. I'm just cutting it off so I don't have to hold this whole thing in the in the vise. So once I get that cut off, it'll just hold it in there um, just like that. And then I 3D printed out some vice jaws to be able to bolt in. And hopefully these work. Uh, they didn't fit perfectly with this 3D printed version, but uh, the dimensions are a little bit off just because my 3D printer is not perfect. Yeah, I'm going to again uh, finish uh, chopping this off, mount it in the vise, and then we'll see if we can get this thing cutting the first operation. I guess that's what happens when you try and cut a little too aggressively. So looks like I'm going to be ordering a couple more end mills. You know, probably should have bought some extras to begin with. But yeah, I think I was going a little too aggressive for how much tool I had sticking out. So hopefully I can salvage this. See you tomorrow. Day two. Well, I got a couple new tools in from Amazon, so I already got everything set up and zeroed, and I'm going to try and run that again. So here goes nothing. So that did not go as planned. It must have lost steps or something and it went on a freaking rampage and just hogged out a massive piece of material that was not supposed to be removed. So I'm going to have to uh, regroup on this whole mill idea. Yeah, I don't know. I moved it so I probably should have Probably should have checked the zero position to see if it actually missed steps. But it's too late now, so... Yeah... Day three. So, back out in the garage again, I think I figured out 
what was going on. I, at least I, th I, I found something that was wrong with the Mach 3 settings. So I'm hoping that that was causing my missteps and I programmed up a test cut so that uh, I can essentially try and verify that everything's good. So I just have some three quarter by three quarter material. I'm just gonna hog this out and then do a bore. And yeah, just try and uh, do another quick test cut. So I'll show you guys, you know, what happens. We'll see, hopefully it works out. So I'm still getting some kind of issues. I don't know when. Uh, it seems like the tool wasn't zeroed correctly. I'm just not positive. Even the bore that it did was not centered when it was supposed to be centered. I'm going to have to do a little more digging to see what I messed up. Well, the only thing I discovered was I think that it was just operator error. So I'm just going to go ahead and probably ruin another piece of aluminum. I'm going to try and rough out the throttle cable bracket again. So wish me luck. Well, that did not go to plan. I don't know if this is recoverable. Might have just broke something. Well, I was able to salvage it, surprisingly. So there's the kind of roughing operation. Got pretty much most of the material hogged out. Surface finish doesn't look terrible. I really only have this surface, this flat surface, as the final surface. Everything else pretty much going to get cleaned up with the ball end mill. So. I think that's the next step is to set up the ball end mill and try and do some finishing contours. Shiny. So shiny. Well, there it is. Turned out pretty freaking good. But I still have lots more to do. I'm actually, before I pull this out of the vise, I'm gonna run a program to chamfer uh, the corner on these uh, counter bores, just to take the edge off. Well, there it is. I did it, I saved it. It looks really good, I'm impressed. So it's definitely not perfect. Like there's maybe a, I could hit it with some SOS pad or something, but it feels really smooth. I mean, for this little mini mill, I think that's pretty good. And I think I can actually take it out of the vise, test fit it in my 3D printed vise jaws to see how it fits. So sweet. Probably leave that for tomorrow. So, see you guys tomorrow. Day four. I got the 3D printed vice jaws in there. Got the part flipped over, mounted in, indicated in, zeroed out, and I think I'm ready to cut. So, I'm gonna try and cut the second side. Well, I didn't film the last little bit on the mill just because I didn't want it to get super boring, but 
I did wrap it up and now the throttle bracket I uh, got it bolted up there's definitely some imperfections but I think it looks pretty good nice and shiny there's the first failed attempt where I had some Mach 3 settings incorrectly and then this is like the final 3d printed part so you know pretty good match and now it's shiny and sturdy I wasn't really gonna trust this plastic um, for the throttle cable so yeah I think it's gonna look pretty sweet not sure if I'm gonna put any kind of finish on it or anything I think I might just leave it machined so it'll match the throttle body so yeah one other little project for the manifold checked off still got to work out the couple details for the fuel rails but there's the the 3d printed part mocked up so yeah another part complete